Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today for your how-to guide to 1099s. My name is Sharissa and I'll be your tour guide through your QuickBooks Online account to help you with filing your 1099s. We'll go over how to prepare 1099s in QuickBooks Online and make sure you have all the tools you need to get those 1099 documents to your team. Let's go ahead and get started. You're going to go ahead and go to your far left-hand navigation where it says Payroll. And in that sub menu, you're going to go ahead and select contractors. Once you are in the contractors section at the very top of your list of contractors, it's going to say prepare 1099s. Go ahead and select that. From here, you're going to see that you can start your 1099s right off the bat. Or if you scroll down just a bit, you're going to go ahead and see some frequently asked questions. I definitely suggest taking a look at these to see if any of them are going to answer any questions that you may have going forward. For example, now going into the 2020 tax season, we'll be using the 1099 NEC form rather than the 1099 MISC form. 1099 MISC will now be specifically for any extra compensation that is reported. So you can see here what is the difference between 1099 NEC and MISC. You can also see how much does this cost? Do I need to file with my state? What is a 1099? As well as some other questions that are generally asked during this time. If you are going to manually print off these 1099s and send them to your team, go ahead and click order a 1099 kit. Once you click order a 1099 kit, a new tab is going to pop up and it's going to show you a few options. So 1099 NEC forms, you're going to go ahead, you can click that or you can go ahead and click 1099 MISC or just scroll down. And here you're going to go ahead and select the state that you're filing in and then choose the quantity that you need and then add to cart. If you need any 1099 MISC kits, then you can go ahead and do the same. Select the state you're filing in, select the quantity you need, add to cart, and then from there, you can go ahead and purchase them. From here, we can then go ahead and continue our 1099s. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And from here, it's gonna make sure that I have everything set up correctly. So here I'm gonna review my company info, make sure the name of the company, the address are all correct, the tax ID and phone number look good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press next. Here I can categorize my payments to my contractors or 1099 vendors. The most common payment type is gonna be box number one for the NEC. This was formerly box number seven on the MISC forms. So you may recognize that. You're gonna go ahead and say non-employee compensation. You'll then go ahead and select the account where you track the payments from. And then if you need to select any other options, go ahead and take a look. If you're unsure, you can always reach out to us or you can hover over the name of each one of those boxes and it's gonna give you a little snippet of what it's for. Once you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and select next. And here we're gonna review your contractor information. Make sure the first and last name are correct, the address, their tax ID, and their email. If you need to take any action, make, make sure that you click edit and then update their information. If it is missing any information, it will show up in red so that you are able to visually see that and see that you need to make any updates or changes. I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And here I can review and check that the payments all add up. So I can see total payments, if it's supposed to be landing in the NEC form, any excluded payments, and then the 1099 total that will be showing up on their form. If everything looks good, I can go ahead and say finish preparing 1099s. And here, once it's available to you guys, it's going to say e-file for me in green. Or if you're planning on doing it manually yourself, you can say print and file myself. When I click e-file for me, this 1099 e-file service will pop up and that way I can go ahead and continue on. I can go ahead and review the info. 
I can select the users that I'm going to be filing for. So I'm going to check mark, make sure all the boxes are checked, their tax IDs are correct, the address is correct, and the NEC numbers are correct. I can see that it has not been submitted yet. I can go ahead and press continue. I will then pay for the service and then choose my delivery option. And then you'll submit your final forms. If you are going to print and file yourself, go ahead and select print and file. And then you're going to select the form type and print a sample of what you'll need to print. So 1096 form, this is the form that is required for filing by mail. And then 1099 form, print applicable forms as shown in the summary. So I can select the one I want to print out. I'll load my blank paper into my printer, print a sample on the blank paper, and make sure that it all fits perfectly. If it doesn't line up, try again until it lines up, and then you'll say, yep, looks good. And then you'll go ahead from here, select the ones that you actually do want to print. And then press next. You're done printing your forms and you'll press done. And then all that information is going to then be sent out to the IRS and to your employees, your 1099 vendors. If you ever need any help or assistance with your 1099 forms, please feel free to reach out to us and we can help with any questions that you may have. Remember your FAQs are right here at your fingertips in your 1099 section if you ever need to go back and use them as a resource. But again, feel free to reach out to us, use your FAQs, that way you and your contractors will be set up for success for your 1099 forms. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.